There are two common activating EGFR mutations, uh, deletion 19 and now A58R mutations. Uh, overall, they consist of about, uh, made up of about 90% of all the uh, activating EGFR mutations. Uh, there are three uh, uncommon mutations uh, that, cons that constitute about 5 to 10% of the activating uh, EGFR mutations, depending on the study series. Uh, we participated in the Afatinib uh, study, the Lux Lung 2, and also the Lux Lung, uh, the Lux Lung 2 study. And uh, Afatinib, in has, Afatinib has demonstrated uh, clinical activity uh, in, the, in these three uncommon mutations based on the study of Lux Lung 2, I think Lux Lung 3 and Lux Lung 6. And combined, uh, we were part of the uh, authorship for the uh, Fatinib uh, in the Lancet Oncology. And based on this study, the FDA approved Fatinib for the use of uh, in the three uncommon mutations. So right now, Fatinib is the only EGFR TKI approved for the treatment of the free uncommon EGFR mutations, uh, which, cons which consists of about 5 to 10 percent of all the activating EGFR mutations. Uh, Fatinib has, uh, I think, comparable clinical activity in these three uncommon mutations as the uh, two uh, common activating mutations. However, Fatinib has side effects such as rash and diarrhea. So, one of the, un uh, I think, the uh, very uh, important question is. Can osimetanib overcome uh, all these three common, uh, uncommon mutations also because of their tolerability? And I think in this uh, World uh, Conference in Lung Cancer in 2018, uh, there's an abstract in, uh, that shows that osimetanib also has a very good uh, over-response rate uh, in, against all three of uh, these uncommon mutations. Uh, if, they, if their over-response rates are confirmed, this actually provides us with another excellent uh, treatment options uh, for these patients with uncommon EGFR mutations. And because of the tolerability of uh, osimetinib, uh, we may actually switch to uh, osimetinib as the, as the first line or as the first, first uh, treatment options for these uh, patients. Uh, hopefully there will be an uh, uh, FDA approval, but you know, in the U.S., we you know we may based on this data, we may you know we may try to use this uh, as an off-label use for for these uh, uh, for patients with these uh, free and common mutations. They are rare, so uh, if 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 we find these patients, I mean, I will I will think about using osimetinib. I think the standard of care would still be a fatinib, and so that would still be the first-line treatment. But if uh, if there is more data, and the data turns out to be uh, confirmed or is positive and in the, if, with more long, longer follow-up time, then osimetinib will become, uh, will likely become even, uh, as, as happens with the two common activating mutations, the frontline treatment of these uh, three common mutations too.